how are you? I hope everybody is doing great. Today I'm gonna cover another mom reel and before we begin this I would really request you all to please subscribe to my channel and press the notification button. It is right here guys. It's just a small subscribe button and by doing that me and you will always be connected. So let's begin today's uh, today's video. Today, mo today's mom reel is all about baby sleep. While I was doing some research on mother on mothers in Google and SEO and basically the mother's problem, which uh, India and abroad, you know, generally these mothers face, I found out that baby sleep was amongst the very high searches. So I thought that you know I haven't covered this topic and I would really want you guys to know about baby sleep and now Ednit is about eight and a half months he almost sleeps throughout the night and I have seen him from day one to till date that how gradually his sleep has increased and touch wood his sleep ha pattern has been really good from day one he just used to take my feed and just go to bed he doesn't used to bother me a lot uh, but yeah but still I have uh, a lot of tips and tricks for you guys so let's begin so number one is food you need to be sure that your baby's stomach is full you need to be sure that you know he is completely satisfied so now that begins with different age groups and sleep patterns obviously obviously depend on different age groups for example if your baby's in this into z2 zero to three month then obviously make sure that you know the last feed which you give is you know a, a big one a long one and you make him satisfy as much as you can now if we move to three to six months i would say by then you know most of the people do give like a formula milk i used to give it at the night just once so what i used to do is i used to feed him throughout um throughout the day but during the night because formula is one heavy feed i used to give him one formula at the night so that he can sleep throughout the night and now if you move to six months plus by then most of the baby starts solid then you know it's it's almost half the battle is won so now you can obviously make sure that he has a heavy dinner and followed by a good milk session so that stomach is full and he's satisfied so very important number one is food he make please please make sure that your baby's tummy is full second which comes is activity make sure that you know you have engaged your baby with some or the other activity throughout the day i won't say that over stress him with a lot of exercises so yeah for example like from zero to three month you know you can't do much that's fine totally fine but from three to six month generally the the kid starts to you know engage and the kid generally in five to six months they even sit so try and do some of the other activity with him for example i used to give him tummy time or i used to make him roll and he used to roll backwards and there was some of the other physical activity and six months generally by seven or eight months th these kids start to crawl by that time i think it's enough for them to be tired with some or the other activity so the next important thing which comes up now is to set up a routine you should please try and set up a routine for your kid whether it's in any of the age group just make sure that you try and you know manage his nap time his play time and hence his whole night sleeping time so for example i know that ednit you know sleeps and takes naps in the morning for about 2 hours then in the afternoon for another one and a half hour and then in the in the evening for about 30 minutes so i know this pattern and i know that by the night if he abides by this pattern he will sleep so try try i know it's a bit difficult but try to set up a routine with these kids my number fourth tip would be to check if they are in some discomfort or not so you know we have checked that you know their tummy is full they are they are very tired because 
you know it's uh, they've done their activity and it's time also as per the routine but then why they're not sleeping so check if they are in some discomfort or not it's a possibility that it's something else maybe you know there is uh, some colic pain or you know they have been uh, they've just got a vaccine done that's why they are a little irritated just check whether you know is they are not in any of any kind of discomfort okay now let's move towards that some of the tips and tricks i used to take care over and above this for example number one was a massage what i used to do is that every night i used to massage him if not full body then only the legs i would make sure me or you know my husband used to massage him because it's a very good time after the office also we used to bond with him and he used to feel so refreshed so relaxed and i used to give him a bath if not bath i used to give him a sponge what this does is this just relax and refreshes him so much that he's so comfortable that he goes to sleep without any issue then then another point which you can you know make sure is that you that you make him feel around you their mother or father is not around they just wake up and they just feel discomforted so that's why you should do little things to make him feel that i am around him so uh, what what we do is he sleeps in his cot but his cot is just right you know uh, right near to my bed and his cot also has a soft window also has a window which slides down so you also slide down the window in the night and i used to make him feel that i am very close to him and i used to do few more things for example i used to leave my jacket in his cot yes you know the warmth and i am there in the winters i used to make his bed warm enough that he feels that you know it's it's very cozy and i can go to bed so i used to do these small things even you know he sleeps on one side so i used to put a booster after him booster right him so he feels that you know somebody is there who's like on his back somebody is there and he and he or she is sleeping so i used to just make these small small effort to make him feel closer to me and hence to take a very very nice sleep and uh, i've noticed one more thing that you should also make him feel the difference between day and night what happens is in the day some or the other disturbance is there light is there or something or the other is there so that's why you know he knows that there is a difference between a day and the night sleep and if he doesn't then you make sure that he does he does feel that there is a different and now, and now i need to sleep throughout so how can you make sure that you know just make your room temperature and the room warmth cozy and dark make sure that you know you make him feel that it's night and everybody's up and everybody's sleep and everybody's very calm now you also need to sleep so uh, you know i used to make him change into his night suit so that he knows that you know now i have wore my night suit now it's time to sleep then there was there's also he also has a small star projector i don't have it handy right now make sure that you know the link is there so that star projector used to project in on the wall a very cute teddies and stars and used to give a very nice rhythm so whenever we used to rock, we used to rock and make him sleep we used to see that very cute little uh, uh, you know teddies and those very nice uh, rhythm and used to sleep automatically so we used to make that setting we used to dim the lights we used to put a very small lamp and just make him sure that you know it's night and it's time to sleep so yeah so these were few tips which i have you know uh, taken care of and i swear these have been very very helpful to me i hope they will be helpful to you as well i hope you like the video thank you so much for watching it please follow me on my instagram also there are a lot of updates there as well like share and comment and thank you for watching this video thank you so much tata -ta.